All right. Good, e good evening, everybody. It's Thursday, February 29th. Um, we have the uh, Brookfield Select Board meeting, uh, years 2024. Everyone, please stand and join me in Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. Uh, the usual announcements. Um, this meeting is being recorded by the town. Is uh, anyone here recording the meeting privately? Mr. Kelleher, anyone else? No, that's fine. Recording is acceptable. We just like to know who's doing it. Um, uh, reminder, winter parking bans effect through April 1st. Uh, no parking on any streets between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Vehicles in violation will be towed at the owner's expense. And it doesn't say it here, but I usually say it, so I'm just going to keep going on, on momentum. Snow should not be shoveled, pushed, or otherwise moved into public right-of-way. I know it says a little more than that, but that's what I remember to say. Brad, could you walk us through the warrants, please? Yeah, FY2417 payroll, $188,442.35. FY2417 accounts payable, $78,256.62. FY2417 withholding, $68,207.63. Thank you, sir. All right, on to the agenda. Agenda item number one is the uh, discussing the Sun Fusions post community agreement. Um, I make a we, motion to. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> make yeah. a motion to pass over the Sun Fusions. All right, I'll second, I'll second the motion. And uh, before we vote on that, I just want to explain to the audience is that. Um, the, uh, my understanding is the Cannabis Control Commission is vote, either voted last night or vo is voting tonight to adopt a template post-community agreement. And so both the town and the uh, Mr. And Sun Fusions have agreed to defer discussion of this until after the uh, draft, until, excuse me, after, until after the uh, reference or template is approved by the Cannabis Control Commission and try and take advantage of that in our discussions. And so we will uh, bring this matter back up at a future date. Thank you. Uh, all in favor of passing over this motion, please say aye. 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 Thank you, sir. All right. Um, discuss closing town hall offices during elections. And I think we've got the dates for that. Yes, we do. So, uh, Brad, can I get a motion for that so we can start the discussion? Um. Make a motion to discuss the closing of the town hall offices during election. <laughs> uh, can, can, oh. can you include the dates in the motion? Uh, 2024 election dates, 3524 primary election, 5624 annual town election, 9324 state primary election, 11524 presidential election. Thank you. I'll second that. Uh, the, uh, and so my understanding of the purposes of this is to um, provide a, uh, a a better environment with the uh, with the off with the town hall closed and the town offices closed, um, that will allow um, uh, the town clerk to uh, administer the elections and provide more <coughs> security and a more and a less disruptive environment for our residents to vote in. Yep. And so, uh, my understanding is that um, most employees um, have the ability to work from home and therefore they will be working from home. This will not be a day off for the employees. Any discussion? No. Nope. All right. So all in favor of closing town hall for on election days on the dates mentioned, please say aye. 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 All right. All right. Highway department trans highway department uh, discussion. I, mean, I was hoping Beth would be here for that. So. I've got, an, I've got a resume in here, but I'm not ready to discuss it. I haven't looked no. at it yet. Yeah. So I think at this point it was a, I don't remember asking for this. Did you ask for this or did Beth? You're talking about the resume? No, no, no. no, no for, to, for this item on the agenda. I, I know I approved it, but I did, I, it wasn't something that I said, let's talk about. We were so, all going to discuss just what the transition for the highway department was going to be looking like going forward. Okay. Shows what I remember. <laughs> That's okay. All right. 
So, I mean, at the moment, I know, I know we were uh, batting several ideas around um, in that. And I don't know if we just want to pass over because we want to have the three of us for that discussion or not. You I, mentioned she's not going to be here. Um, <coughs> Beth indicated that uh, Beth said that she had to go get medicine for her wife. Okay. Uh, she uh, Karen has the flu sure. and is not and needs the medicine, and so she indicated that she was um, Good some, somewhere somewhere <laughs> so, somewhat unlikely to make the meeting. It's like she, I, I'm not sure if that's because she felt she would be running too late or just she would be home taking care of her wife. And then either way, it's like yeah, take care of your wife, please. So uh, my thought is is that um, it's like. So I, without Beth, I, it's like, do we need any, um, is there anything urgent do you think that we need to talk about or can we defer this? Um, Mr. Kelleher, as the uh, interim superintendent of the highway uh, department, um, uh, would you, is there something you would like to uh, talk to us about? I'm just because I saw the agenda. Want to come up? Yeah, uh, or I no, don't no. know if it's quick. What? No, he, I, is it I think quick, he was just saying he's here because he saw the highway department on the agenda. No, Okay. So Roland says his position, and I'm just curious as to what are we talking about positions or one in particular? Um, I, the agenda item is um, discussion position. Okay. Oh, that's in, sorry, threw me off. And I believe right. it was supposed to be about I think, both. Yeah, I think, I think um, the agenda item allows us to discuss all positions. And so I think, um, so I will take advantage of, uh, so that's helping, helping focus me. Um, I would say that we should pro it's like we have at the moment we have an open permanent superintendent gary's our interim superintendent we have an open foreman position and we have an open laborer position do i remember that correctly okay and so and right now the uh, the highway department has been, uh, with uh, with with luck and not too much snow the highway department has been able to operate with the existing staff but i think it is um I think it falls to us to bring them up to full staffing, Correct. and that is something that, at the very least, you and I can, can talk about moving forward. And so I know that um, we, we posted the foreman position and the laborer position. Mm -hmm. are, are, they po are they posted? I, uh, Karen? Karen? Not anymore. No. Well, I mean, on the, on the website, but not in the newspaper. Yeah, but we did post them to the, yes, we did post yes. them publicly to meet the bylaw it's requirements. It's just the foreman. We don't actually have a uh, operator position open right now. It's just the foreman position that's open. We have, we have two operators. We need to fill the foreman position. Okay, thank you, thank thank you, Lindsay. It's uh, yes, I think that got it. There should be only one active listing right now. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, that's okay. So that's. Let me just make that. Four minutes listed on. Yeah. Well, it's under operator one, so yes, yeah, exactly. confusing. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, and I know, I know we're 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 looking for the I know we're looking for the permanent superintendent, but it's like that seems to be a going slower than hoped. And so the thought is, at the very least, we can talk about bringing bringing filling that foreman position. Yeah, and I mean, I think Beth's experience and advice. Yeah. So well, I would say what we should do is, um, I know we have some applicants, mm -hmm. and so what we may want to do is schedule an executive session to review those and consider the candidates, because I, my understanding is that we, yeah. that we are allowed to, we, can do to we are allowed to winnow down the list of applicants in executive session, and then the candidates interview. that we yep. wish to entertain, we would then interview <coughs> in, a, in an open meeting. Yep. Okay. All right, then I will. Uh, I'll work with you and Beth to uh, find a time to make that happen. Um, sure. We'll see about making that happen next week. Okay. All right, and then uh, I will also, as part of that, we'll uh, we'll probably review any of the applicants, any applicants we may have received or have received for the high for the superintendent position. Okay. I think that would be a uh, if we're going to meet then we should probably talk about uh, any superintendent candidates and see if any of them are of interest to us. That okay. we want to then bring in for a, for a meeting. Is the superintendent job reposted though? I don't think it's been posted for the new deadline. Um, uh, Lindsay, would you like to come no. up and no, talk? Or, or, it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> no. no, I mean, it just, I mean, the, the, I, my record, Karen, we posted the, did we post the superintendent position? It's not been posted, no. Okay. 
Because I remember I, we, were, we were you said to do it at the uh, at the meeting, and then uh, and then you would just it was suggested that you don't do it. So you oh, I thought that was the in, no, the inter, the in, I know the interim superintendent. We had talked about posting that, and then. Uh, I guess I'll say some new information came to light, and we realized that it, that wasn't needed to do what we need, what we wanted no, to do, and so we decided to just save the town money and not post it. it it's, no, you, you did change, you edited the uh, the application, uh, the um, job description, but it, no, you never said to post it. Okay. Well, then we should take care of that, and we have the job description here. Highway superintendent. Give me a moment. I thought we added, I thought we modified the interim superintendent. Well, you edited, you edited the highway superintendent. If you look, if you look, when you said the, um, it doesn't appear education to me. Education and experience, the other requirements before it said it was required, and this is preferred. You changed some wording on okay. that to make it a little less restrictive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, I, yeah, I see these, and da, da, da. No, I, it's like I heard wind, like it was whistling, like we had a cracked window or something. It's like, it's blowing. All right, Brad. So do you, um, what do you think? Do we want to post this highway superintendent again and try and push that search forward? I mean, um, I mean we've got, I mean, we have Gary now, but it's not, he's not going to last forever. Right. Uh, it's a, you know, that came out really badly. He's, got, he's eventually going to get tired of listening to me talk <laughs> and move on to a more peaceful location is what I think I was trying to say. <laughs> Yeah, I would just uh, preface that with just confirm with Beth that this is accurate if she was okay with what's in here. Okay, then uh, let's see. Well, she's right. the one that made most of the changes, if remember. And this is the edited yes. one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if this is the edited one, then. Yeah. Well, then why don't we, yeah, then, then why don't we just, um, Pending, pending Beth confirming that yes, this is this is what she had in mind. Because since she's not here, and I want to make sure that if she was the and since she was the one making most of the suggestions, she has the most clearly in her head. It's like pending that, then we go and uh, and and get get that back up on the town website and try and figure out where else it can go. We can post it to Indeed. Well, we can't post it to Indeed because Indeed, Indeed requires a credit card. Oh. We don't have a town credit card, so that that's what I ran into last time when I tried to post it. I'll get reimbursed. Okay. Right. We'll make we'll make it happen. So, do you want what papers do you want it? Do you want it in the Stonebridge and Turley papers and on Indeed and the town website or? What? Yeah, I mean Southbridge and so, yeah. I was gonna say what the tel the telegrams are obscenely expensive, if I recall you what you told me. So I'm thinking we'll, we'll we'll post around here, and we should also find a um, uh, we should we should find we should find where the highway department superintendents tend to hang out, or at least get their information. Well, you know what you could you could also post on the Beacon, which is um, on the MMMA website, and also the Beacon, which they used to mail it to. You know, it's all on the website. Mm -hmm. um, I can check into that. And can, yeah, I that's that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking because I know that I know there's a town like there's a. Do town you have any advice on where it should go? <laughs> yeah, you can share it with our like the. Yeah, you guys must yeah, have some intranet, well. right? Yeah. That that would be. Thank you. That's exactly what I was hoping for. It's like get it to the people who are most likely to be able to fill the position. All right, so let's do that. Um, let's see. Uh, so. So Karen, could you send a copy of the uh, once we have the job posting ready to go? Um, can you send a, a link to uh, Lindsay and Gary so that they can share it and bring it to the attention of, uh, of their networks? Yes. Thank you. And Brad, since we talked about discussing the, uh, the, super, the foreman positions, let's, uh, can you bring out your calendar? 
let's try and pick a time and then we can for either Tuesday or Thursday next week and then we can see if Beth's available when we can get over when we can reach out to her <coughs> I can do Tuesday and Thursday since we have already have a select board meeting scheduled for next Thursday could you do Tuesday during the day Tuesday during the day or Thursday? Yeah, uh, actually, Thursday. we can't meet here on Tuesday because it's election day. The building's closed. So, because we, <laughs> we just decided. But we could meet at the police station. Oh, you're right. Good point. Right? Yes, we could. Yeah. That's a lot. Well, I'll have to check. I, I think it's open. I don't know. Well, ten, well you could do Wednesday. No, you don't want to do Wednesday. Uh, Beth because is, I have to post that today and uh, tonight. Okay. Oh yeah, if we do oh, wait, it Tuesday. Wait. Yes, we would have we would have to post it before if we're meeting at noon on Tuesday, we'd have to post it before noon tomorrow. So right, we'd get so it posted tonight. Post um, post it let's post it um, if the building is not available, we can always cancel the meeting. But I'd rather get the posting up there and I don't think there's a lot of demand for the police room police conference room at noon on a Tuesday. Okay, so what time do you want it? Um, noon on Tuesday at the police station conference room and then we'll if it turns out that the, that the meeting the building's not available or we have to move something with Beth we'll let you know and we'll adjust the posting as needed and what do you want for the agenda right um, the agenda will be um, it will be the only thing on the agenda will be executive session and um, I forget which one it is but it will be to discuss hiring because okay. the plan will be to uh, review the um, uh, the the highway foreman candidates and we have a highway candidate we have a highway superintendent candidate here so we'll put that on the list also that'll just give us a chance to talk about it and we don't have to take any action okay. even if, if it's on the agenda we can talk about it if we decide to wait we can wait if we decide to move forward we can move forward so it'll be highway foreman and highway superintendent yes Uh, uh, Gary I just, and uh, Lindsay, I just want to thank the highway department for um, for keeping up with things um, while short-staffed and for uh, for keeping things going. It's I know we. Is, is this Ernie? Ernie. Okay. I, no, I, I, I apologize. I, I, okay. But I want to tell you that my belief is, and I, and I know I've professed this to you folks before, that we've clicked. The department and myself have clicked. We have a good thing going down here. And I want, and I want you to know that it's important that everyone knows that. These guys, um, they know what to do. They put their left foot forward. We discuss what has to be done every day. Special items come to my attention at Lindsay's, and we spread it. We get it done. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with the department. I've said that to you before. Mm -hmm. I'm very, certainly very happy with um, Lindsay's performance down here. Um, as you know, she's a CPO. She did go and get a hoisting license. She's able to do pretty much all the functions of the mm -hmm. So um, I certainly appreciate the staff that we have down here, and they've uh, kind of, except for Lindsay, they've been acceptable of me. <laughs> 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 It's important, no, retain it, just important, mm -hmm. longevity is important. Um, things are tough out there as far as getting qualified drivers, CDO drivers, mm -hmm. things are tough out there. Mm -hmm. Especially since the new requirement, they have to take a little educational class to obtain a CDO. So it's tough. It's tough mm -hmm. to get these people. So it's very important that we retain what we have because they're really important. I just want to say that. So okay. All right. 
Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, on, on I, I'm sure you've already let them know that, but thank you for letting us know that you think that too. I thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So very important that they're there. Mm -hmm. We haven't had enough snow. Um, but the, the bad part of anyone with the season is not the snow. Mm -hmm. What snow is supposed to be? How is the snow in ice accounts? Um, they are, uh, the, the question came out today, I believe we are, have not, we are not yet in deficit. Yeah, we're doing actually quite well. Yeah, there just hasn't been enough snow and now we're at the point where I think the last day of school is Friday and so it's like no snow days no snow days keep those roads clear please <laughs> all right uh, let's see anything else on the highway department Brad I think we've no. done this one all right good all right Uh, it would, it, just accepting and reviewing the uh, the highway report, the highway department report. <coughs> it's like that's all. And I wasn't expecting you to be here, so I wasn't trying to get the highway stuff all adjacent on the on the agenda. Is there something? To, I mean, is it before we ask to take it out of line? Is there any questions or any comments? Okay. Right. All right. So the next thing is the uh, town administrator position. So. Uh, Kelly has uh, yeah, Kelly has ahead. announced her intention to not renew her contract. She will serve it out, so she will be with us until the end. Uh, uh, she will be she will be with us until the end of June, though. With her scheduled vacation, I believe she will be leaving us shortly after um, June in 6th. the town meeting. Yeah, yeah. June June sixth yeah. or thereabouts. So we, as a board, we decide how we are going to move forward. Um, with uh, after she transitions out. Yeah, and I think it was her intention. I think what we were going to discuss about is the position and job duties and posting it. Yeah, and I without her here, um, that's probably something we should pass over because I know she had some advice on mm -hmm. some job description items. Yes, I, that, that was my understanding also. And so my what I, what I would like to do is. I'm probably going to make an effort to uh, talk to her directly uh, about this mm -hmm. and just get a little smarter on her thoughts and work some things through with her and then uh, so that hopefully we can um, have a have a, the, the board can discuss it with her a little more um, efficiently. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that my intention, he, my personal intention, and I'd like to see if, if uh, Brad's in, a, in, a, in an alignment here is to replace Kelly with a professional, another professional town administrator yes. and to continue with that. I, I think that the town has benefited from the, from the uh, increase in professional staff and I think that uh, we, should we should continue that and not say, yeah, she straightened everything out, we can go back to the way things no. were. Things, <laughs> I agree. It's like, it's like um, things, things were worse three years ago before she came in. Yeah, and so she's she's helped us. She's helped us with a lot of things. Okay, so good. I, so I want to make sure we're oh yeah in in alignment Absolutely. on that. And so and, and I can't talk to you guys about that unless we're right. here in the meeting. <laughs> so <laughs> all right. So I wanted to get that. On, I wanted to get us on record for that. All right, and then but yeah, we'll talk to we'll talk to Kelly about um, her thoughts on um, how the position is structured in the town and. Uh, possible changes to the job description and the responsibility that could benefit the town um, and also uh, talk to her about um, I guess I'll say um, what to look for in successor candidates I'm hoping mm -hmm. that she will be involved with us in um, evaluating the candidates yeah and I mean I don't know if we want to if this is something we could probably do tonight is um, before when we hired for that town administrator we had a committee for that mm -hmm. and should we email out and reach out to those to people to see and if they want to have already expressed interest in being yep. on the committee again so i can you want me to reach out to the original committee members and see if they want to um 
I don't know because it's a um, reach out to them in the context of that the board has not yet made a decision because I'm not, I, I got to think that through because if we bring a committee in, it's going to slow things down and I don't, and I have to, if we do that, I have to say, okay, is that going to prevent us from bringing some, have someone coming on board for January, uh, July 1st, excuse me, and will that, um, it's like, and if so, is that something the town can, what impact would that have on the operation of things here at the town? I know that um, my, I, I served on that committee in the, uh, when we first uh, were evaluating the candidates. And my understanding was that because the position, it was new, and to a certain extent, the position was a little contentious. Um, in the, in the uh, when it got approved, it was, it was a, I don't think it was a slam dunk vote at the town meeting where we uh, approved the uh, budget of it is that it was a, I think that was a, a, and Beth could probably talk to this more since she was on the board at the time. So it's like, it's one of those. Do you want me to reach out reach, to say that? Re, uh, reach out to say the board, reach out to say the board is, um, if, the bo if the board is, um, if the board decides to put together a, a search committee, would they be interested okay. since, they, since they served on it previously? It's like, but please make it clear that we have made no decision and that you're just reaching out just to, since they've already been there, it's like, would they be interested? It's like, because mm -hmm. okay. it doesn't make any sense for us to say, yeah, they were on it and then find out that no, they don't want to be on it. Yeah. All right. Anything else for uh, the town administrator? No. All right. Uh, item number five, Al Jones's resignation. Um, Al Jones, the principal assessor of the town, has submitted his resignation. Um, my, he is hired by the assessors who are an elected, an elected board separate from here, so we really don't have a whole lot of skin in that game. Mm -hmm. But um, I would, uh, I would uh, uh, on behalf of myself, I would like to thank Al for his service. He's, um, I think he's done a bang up job for the town, um, getting out there and getting the, uh, doing all the surveys and making sure that the town's records reflect what's actually on the ground out in town so that the, uh, the assessments are fair. I know, or at least reflect reality. I know no one's happy with their assessment. Few people are happy with their assessment, but it is necessary if you have a two story, 3000 square foot house that the tax rolls don't show you having a 1,500 square foot, one story house. That's just not equitable to the, everyone else in the town. And Al's done a lot of work and he's also done a lot of work. Um, I believe this past year, um, Al's one of the primary drivers of setting our tax rate. We were one of the first towns in the state to have its tax rate approved by the state. And that is a much better job than when six, seven years ago when Al was uh, still fairly new to the position. I think he's been with us eight years from talking to him today. All right, and then I, and I am hopeful that the, uh, the assessors will um, be able to find someone of Al's skill and professionalism. But that's their decision. I know that assessors are elected every three years and where someone's up for re-election this year. All right, and uh, Anything else to say about Brad? I'm sorry, no, I've, I've talked with Al. Yeah, okay. All right, then uh, resignation, Kathy LaRocca. Uh, Kathy is our grant writer. She has been, um, uh, she has also been doing a bang up job. Um, I talked to her today. Her husband is retiring ahead of schedule and so she has decided that he needs some adult supervision at home and so therefore she's going to retire early also. Um, the uh, select board is uh, looking to backfill her position. Um, we've got a couple options on the table. Um, haven't. I'm sorry, I should say, I have thought about it. I don't think the board has discussed it yet. And so, um, Brad, I'll ask you is, um, do, you, do you think the town would benefit from continuing someone in yes. that role of Kathy? Okay, yes. good. I mean, I know that we have a couple different options. We could bring in someone to work part-time as a grant writer, uh, or we could also roll those responsibilities into someone else. It's like I know that um, I know we have some people in town who are not yet working 40 hours that could take it on and have expressed interest. And I've also had it suggested to me that we could roll it into the next town administrator's duties. Yeah. I've and so those, those have both been discussed. And I, my thought is we should probably 
um, figure out how we want to move this forward. My thought is that if we wanted to have someone else who's not working 40 hours a week take it on, we could probably do something similar to, I believe the arrangement we have with Holly is she has multiple independent positions mm -hmm. and she manages her schedule so that they don't conflict. And so therefore that, that could be something done with someone um, or we'd have to decide to roll the, we could decide to roll it into the town administrator's position. And my thought is that's probably something we should talk to Kelly about. Right. But I think we're, but we're definitely in agreement that that's a position that we need to continue going. My mm -hmm. understanding is that the grant writer is about 25 to 30% writing grants and she spends the rest of her time administering grants. And if you don't administer those grants right, one, you have to pay the money back. And two, you don't get grants in the future. So. It's a, uh, I don't think this is something that we could just hire out to a, uh, to a copywriter. It's, a, it's the grant administration that is the, the bigger part of this. And, with the, and we have been doing, she, Kathy has been doing for this town a bang up job of getting us money. If she uh, got us the grants for the Lewis Field walking path, for the uh, Lewis Field um, refurb. Uh, she got us a grant for a, uh, they just got the uh, speed, a, a speed feedback sign that the, ta the town now has. Two weeks a year, we have to put it on Schoolhouse Crossroad, Weber Road by the entrance, the side entrance to Tintasqua. And the other 50 weeks, we get to put it wherever we want. I know there'll be a lot of demand for it on Quaybox Street, probably. And what else? And, she's, uh, and we've received a grant for um, electronic um, voting clickers for town meeting. Right. And I think the, uh, the hope is that those will be in and ready for use at this year's town meeting, but I, can't promise that. Mm -hmm. and still, they're still working towards that. Okay. And so, um, so I'd like to. Uh, and actually, yes, send a letter with her. Yeah, I, I was going to say, and that we should, and we should probably do that for uh, oh, Al well. too. It's like um, we'll go back. So, gotta get a motion to uh, accept her resignation with regret. And, uh, they, and I don't think we need service? to make a motion. Okay, then we. No. Right. Uh, Karen. Would you, would you send, would you, on behalf of the uh, select board, would you please um, send uh, letters of appreciation to, uh, to Kathy and Al? I know Al technically doesn't work for us, but he's done a bang up job and we can say thank you. All right. All right, next agenda item, 18 Common Street. Mr. Holdcraft, would you please come on down and join us? I would be more than happy to. I knew you would. You wouldn't have asked to be on the agenda if you didn't want to talk. Such a that violence. is correct. Well, Beth's not here tonight, so. No, she's not, unfortunately. She's Kaylee. our ADA coordinator, correct? Karen? I think mm. by default, yes, I believe she is. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the state said she is, and uh, okay. they've, they've tried to email her several times, and she hasn't responded yet. Uh, okay. As of 2.15 this afternoon, so I was kind of going to want to discuss part of this with her, but, mm -hmm. um, and you, of course. Um, so what do you do? The building is not ADA uh, compliance. Uh, yes, 18 Common Street. No, I've the been annex building, so everybody knows it's the, it's the dumpy house next to the library that we purchased, what, five years ago, four years ago? Yeah, about that. So there's nothing about the building that's uh, ADA, nothing. Um, Correct. ADA said that, uh, well, they recommended to, to Beth through emails, I guess, that the building should not be used at all for public meetings or gatherings or any any more than a bunch of people. If they have one or two people that want to do work in the building, they can they can they can do that. Mm -hmm. But if there's gonna be a public hearing, that's an open meeting law violation and they said by no means that should happen. Okay. Um, they, they told you it's an open meeting law violation? That's correct. That okay. That's correct. Um, uh, who, which you, I, who are you in contact with there? I can't pronounce her name because there's two or three people I've been working with. Okay. Um, there's a counselor um, supposed to be coordinating with Beth and mm -hmm. she's you know she's trying to get a hold of her so okay. I spoke to Beth uh, Monday night for about an hour and she, she had some options for the building mm -hmm. but she's not here tonight so I mean <clears throat> so I guess what I want to know is what are you going to do are you, you know um, well, I would say the <clears throat> first thing we should do is, is um, uh, I, I have done a little uh, when you, uh, around the time you were uh, contacting me about this, I did some research. I, okay. I went to the building and I, can, I looked and I said, oh dear Lord, this is not ADA accessible. There's not. So right. it's like, I, so not I, even I, can, close. I, I completely agree with you there. Right. And so um, uh, research indicates that um, the uh, two weeks ago, yeah, it's the same, it was when we last met, 
Conservation Commission met there at the same time um, that because we were meeting here and advisory right. was meeting in the police station and so <clears throat> they typically don't meet there. Um, Historical Commission and REC have have a recent history of meeting there. Correct. And so fundamentally I would say we need to clarify to them that that building is not a suitable location for any meeting subject to open meeting law. And just say, it's like, I, I, can't, I can't move a meeting that's been in the past, but I can, make, I can tell you, do not have another meeting there. It is not an acceptable location. And if, we, and if that pushes, puts a squeeze on us for space, then we do that. Um, I, will, I will say that I was talking to Kathy LaRocca, who was a, a, a former ADA coordinator for the town. Okay. And, and, her, and the information she gave to me, and she shared something with me from she shared something with me that suggested or indicated to me, and that, and that was her opinion, was that a, a open meeting could be held in a building like that unless there is a request for accommodation uh, from someone with mobile, who would need wheelchair access. And if the body received that request, it would be incumbent on the body to relocate its meeting to an accessible location. But if there was not a request for accommodation within uh, uh, more than 48 hours in advance, then the meeting could be legal. And so I want to, I want to explore this mm -hmm. to understand, <clears throat> it's like, because one, if that's the case, then that says it could become an overflow place and if necessary, and as long as no one asks for, as long as there's no need for accommodation, but that would also mean that we would have to be good about getting our agendas posted so that people who might need accommodation have a reasonable period of time for the agenda to be posted, for them to see it, decide whether they want to be, whether they want to participate or not, and put in their request for accommodation. Because right now, we, the open meeting law requires us to post our meetings 48 hours in advance. And my understanding of the law is that, I don't know if it's 24 or 48 hours, or the guidance is 24 or 48 hours, to request accommodation. No, it's either five or seven days. It's five or seven? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's ADA says, um, I told them about the building. They says that's, that's not going to fly on this building. Okay. But it will, but that will work. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. That will work on this building, providing. <clears throat> yeah, right. Yep, seven days. We have it up, we have it on our agenda. <clears throat> Okay, but that but I don't know that I don't know that that is the legal requirement. Just because it's on our agenda doesn't mean that's the legal requirement. That may be what we just decided to do. Oh, here we go. Well, no, I was told to put this on, and I I, I want to say it was from Kelly, but I'm not sure. But I was told to put this on because this this was the the law yeah. that so that each agenda. Yeah. Um, and so. I, I found my document. This is a, uh, uh, Karen, remind me to send you a copy of this so we can get into the meeting record. Um, it is by the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice, Disability Rights Section. It is the ADA Guide for Small Towns. And let me see, there's an example here. And I will not read the whole thing, but the summary is that the town holds meetings in an inaccessible second floor. Um, That's, yeah. Hold on. The town, and they do some things, the ATM is moved elsewhere. The town officials also decide move, to move smaller meetings, which are periodically held on the second floor of the town hall, to the school auditorium when they receive a request within 24 hours of a meeting. Which to me, this guidance to me suggests mm -hmm. that the meeting could be held in, inex, in a non-ADA accessible location, absent a request for accommodation. Now, this is something, so if the people in Massachusetts now, that's federal law. Massachusetts law may be different. You're talking to people in state government, yep, correct? Yep. So this is something that we need to talk to and figure out what are the obligations on the town. The fundamental guiding principle is ensuring participation by everyone in the town, um, your equal opportunity to participate in the meetings of the town. And I think we're all in agreement on that. Right, and, and that's so, what and you a, have to work out. Yeah, and as, and as a temporary mm -hmm. measure, I think that a pending resolution of this matter, I think the most prudent thing is to instruct the uh, boards and committees that they should avoid meeting in there um, until we can confirm that there, how 
it would be possible to use it in a uh, ADA in a way that's compatible with open meeting law and ADA guidelines. Right. That's what they. That's what they want. That's what they. That's what they wanted Beth on board so they could work something out like that. Yeah, and 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 and, <clears throat> and we definitely want to make sure it works out right, and we don't. Right. We don't do it wrong. Providing okay. you can get wheelchairs through the doors. You know, well, my thought is that, well, that I don't. I didn't measure. I, I no. know. I, I didn't measure the doors. I just checked everything else up, but I did not measure doors. My my, <clears> my <throat> expectation is that if we use that building and then someone said they need an accommodation, the meeting would have to move to a new location. Right. There's no way someone with a wheelchair is maneuvering that building. No. The the doors aren't suitable. The that step down is not suitable. The hand um, the doorways are not suitable. The bathroom's not suitable. There's nothing. It's like. All right. There's nothing in there that works That's for right. someone who has <clears throat> access issues. And right. don't even get me started on the hill up to the ramp. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, then we, yeah, the ramp to get into the building, yeah, with a locked garage door. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, we're getting to, okay, so you guys are going to work on that. So they now they said, I, we, I brought the town hall up. We cannot hold public meetings upstairs, but they said, what you're doing now, someone comes down to meet someone, you know, if someone comes in that has disabilities, mm -hmm. And they need to speak to someone in the offices upstairs. I don't know how many offices are up there. Three? One. Uh, two. Uh, two. 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 So the town administrators and I, the accountant's office is up there, too. Right. Though she is rarely here. And she, so that's and that's fine. They mm -hmm. said that. I explained that all to them, and that's fine. But you can't have a public body or meetings or open meetings, you know, a lot of people up there until mm -hmm. we have some kind of a stair lift or an elevator or something. Yeah. But they did recommend, and they should be done, is they should have some kind of signage down here stating when someone comes in, if you're going to the such and such an office, there should be a sign down here mm -hmm. with phone numbers, you know, so they can call maybe Karen, say, mm -hmm. hey, you know, I'm, I'm down here, I need to speak to someone upstairs. Okay. So they know when they get here and they want to speak to someone up there and there's nobody in the hallway, at least they have a sign saying, hey, you got to do this if you're on disabilities. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So they suggested to get some kind of signage that's pretty, you know, readily, easily for the people when they come in. People that don't know the town hall, you know. I mean, I think we can kind of wait here then until we hear from Beth. If she's the right. ADA coordinator. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so she's I, got to coordinate with the uh, counselor there. And, yeah, so yeah. I, th yeah, I, th I think that um, I, I, I think we're veering off the agenda item. I didn't, re I did not expect you to be talking about town hall in addition to 18 oh yeah Street. just yeah that's so, fine that's so all, so, that's so, fine okay. but yeah but we can like, but, we can discuss that when beth gets on board yeah, you know i was gonna say but it's like mm -hmm. i think I yeah think, but the state the people from the state will bring it up directly with beth that what's that the people from the state the disability access people will that this the issue with town hall they're aware of it and they will be talking to beth about it yes then then yeah. i expect she'll take care of it and she'll bring to the board's bring attention up, right. anything that needs doing Right, exactly. Okay. So they're, they're just they're just waiting to hear from her, you know. Mm -hmm. She wanted to talk to you guys first, and I think then she was going to go back to them and tell them what's going to happen. Yeah, you know? and I know she I know she expected to be at the meeting. And yeah. Then something came. Up. Yeah. So. so okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Yep. Do you want me to send an email to the various committees stating that um, they should would, avoid using that letter? Karen, would you please send a, an, a message to the uh, chair of every board and committee, um, observe, uh, letting them know that the, uh, the, the library annex building is not ADA accessible, and therefore, while we investigate how that building could be used in consistent with state and federal law, that no open, no open meetings should be held in there. I mean, obviously, if, 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 if another board wants to do it, they're elected. We don't have authority over them. But the committees, we have authority over. And we can, I mean, hopefully, everyone will take the hint. But if not, we can get very explicit with the committees. All right. And let's see. All right. I think we're good on that one. So on to number nine. Uh, sorry, excuse me, number, that was number seven we just did. So number eight, sign the SEMLEC Mutual Aid Agreement for the Police Department. And there we go. And Brad, are you, I, are you familiar um, with this? No. Okay. Oh, I'm, uh, assu I'm assuming it has something to do with mutual aid. Yes. Uh, fundamentally, uh, we had, uh, we, the town signed this agreement um, 12 years ago or in, in 2020. 2012, yeah, that'd be 12 years oh, ago now. Oh, this is the, is this the SWAT? This is the SWAT. Yeah. Um, effectively, when 
mutual aid comes in here, signing this agreement makes the people coming in on a mutual aid request automatically invested with the uh, law enforcement powers that we give to our own officers. The thought being, if we're going to ask them to come in and help, we need to authorize them to act as a law enforcement officer. Yeah, also, when our officers um, go mutual aid somewhere else, it then entitles them to the protection of the town that they're working in. And the, uh, from uh, Chief, what Chief Blanchard told me is that this is the same agreement we signed 12 years ago. Um, some of the signatures have been lost, some of the con copy contract copies have been lost, and we've been asked to sign yeah. it again yeah. to kind of reaffirm our commitment to this. Yep. Yeah. So I'll take a motion. Uh, make a motion to approve the Sunlock Mutual Aid Agreement. Uh, to, to sign it? To sign it. All right, I will second the motion to sign it. All in favor of signing the agreement, please say aye. 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 Uh, and I think all two of you can sign it because there's a space actually for all three, isn't there? Yes. Signature of Chief Executive. I guess that's me. At least until Brad's turned in the barrel. No thanks. <laughs> oh, it's coming. <laughs> Thank you. Um, number nine, PD insulation engineering quote in our packet. So this is a this is a quote from Dario Designs. Uh, scope of work is to be the owner's project manager, review the invitation to bid, attend pre-bid walkthrough, answer requests for information during bid process, review bids, and oversee project during construction. Um, the estimated budget of $18,000 to complete this work. Karen, have we identified a funding source for this? That's my concern. Um, so therefore, and without Kelly here to talk to it, because I think this is this was her recommendation that we go forward with it. She didn't expect to sign it. She just wanted to talk about it. Okay. And I think the, I think the idea was that because of, because of this and because of the um, Kelly was not confident that she would be here while the work was going on. The thought was that without a, um, it's like we would want to consider this. Um, my thought is, do we want to, is there, as an alternate, I know, Brad, are you involved in the police station construction? The project tenant? No, well? okay. no. Because I'm just wondering, what, what did we do during, I'm trying to, Karen, do you know what we did when the police station was constructed in terms of who was responsible for? Well, that was before my time, so. I oh, that, fair enough. All right. Um, I'll reach. I'll reach out to Bill Simpson Jr. because I think he was. He he's was on town hall improvement, yes, and I think he was involved. When I did come on board, that committee was still. It took a yeah. lot of time to disband. But, so but, yes. but I will ask him what they, what they, what the town did. I was not on the committee, but um, in that situation, we had the architect and the engineer, or the architect has supervisory responsibility as part of their contract. I believe. From okay. That, All right. Thank you. That and contract. But there was also. A town representative that he worked with him, but there was an engineer, yeah, I, architect, and engineer on staff. I, th I think this contract is similar in that it contracts out the responsibility to supervise the construction and manage the uh, contract. And I expect that we would. I and basically, do what they do thing. is they review the progress, weekly progress, uh, be sure that the work is being done in accordance with the plans and specs. Review the payroll and the, and the uh, partial payment processes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, thank you. So that so we we did it similarly there. Okay. And so I think um, <coughs> hold on. So I think we're going to. Um, 
So I think we're going to take no action on this right now, and right. we'll talk to Kelly about this. Um, maybe it's like I may. It may make sense to squeeze this onto the agenda for next uh, next Thursday, if we if we think it's something that's going to. It's like let me talk to let me talk to Kelly about that okay. uh, right. next week. I'll, I'll reach I'll reach out to her. It's like. Um, Mr. Holcraft, since since we're not taking any action today, can no. I just talk to you offline about any of your concerns? No, no. Thank you. You can check with David Holmes. He was the guy that kind of represented us on the board. He worked with this. He was like Don said. He's the one that was from the board who actually okay. inspected it. All right. Okay. Can you give me their contact information afterwards? Yes. Thank you. All right. All right. All right, permit eyes, number 10. So we have a proposal, there we go, permit eyes discussion. Uh, permit eyes, we have a proposal from permit eyes to uh, bring our permitting system online to uh, make it easier for uh, people to uh, submit uh, permit requests and to manage the process. Um, I know at some point we were I have not had a chance to review this, unfortunately. I know we were talking about. Um, we were. Hold on, I'm, I thought she sent an email about this. Yeah. Well, I think she's. I think we were. We were. We were looking at enhancements to the video system, but those are coming. The the quote for that was, and, we, and with the idea of instead of spending money on permit eyes, we would spend that the permit eyes money on that. But I think the video system is coming in uh, more expensive than we thought, and that this the money here that we had set aside for permit eyes is not going to be enough to do the video system upgrades. I've seen I have since uh, I've, I've talked to someone who had some ideas and thought it could be done for less, and I believe that um, um, Jacob, think it, yeah. were you involved in the uh, in the video system upgrade? Yeah, he sent the. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you about this after. About anything you might know. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I I'm not gonna. Ask, it's, it's not on the agenda, so I can't talk about that in detail okay. now. Sure. So okay. But I know that I know that the I, I I know I would like to see us get a little bit more online and do this easier. I mean, how much is this? Thing yeah, I just don't know what you're talking about. The security camera. Mm. Yeah. Okay. No, sorry, yeah, the, the security. Okay. You want to put on a future agenda or? Yes, please. And I hate the way they've done this pricing. They've got like, it's like they have for this, and then they have one time cost, recurring cost. And they have another thing, one time cost, recurring cost. And I really wish it would just be here are all your one time costs, here are all your recurring costs. And I thought Kelly had it in the budget. I believe Kelly did have it in the fiscal year 25 budget. Right. And so for the, for the recurring cost. And I think there was money left over from this year's. So yeah. you would hit both. Yeah, I, I think the intention was the one-time cost would be paid out of this year's budget and that it would be set up and then it would be online and the recurring costs would hit in fiscal year 25. Mm -hmm. And so, and we can still do that. I just want to just, it's just some of those security system upgrades are important to me. Mm -hmm. And so therefore I think we, I think we should, cons we should not move forward on this until I have, I, I would not like to move forward on this until I have a little more clarity about sure. that security thing. And that was, that was an email that, about that that I think, I think Kelly sent it today or last night. Yeah. And I just have not had time to get up on it. Okay. So um, can I get a motion to pass over permit eyes uh, in favor of discussion at a future meeting? Make a motion to pass over permit eyes. All right. Thank you. Uh, I will second that. All in favor of passing over permit eyes, please say aye. 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 All right. And number 11, Highway Department report. Make a motion to accept the highway department report. Uh, thank you. For January uh, of 2024. I, I will second the. Uh, I will second the acceptance of the highway department report. Um, all in favor of accepting the report, please say aye. 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 
Thank you. Uh, and now we have uh, approval of the select board minutes for June 15th, 2018 and February 15th, 2024. Make a motion to approve the select board minutes for 615-18 and 215-24. I will second that. All in favor of accepting the minutes for those two dates, please say aye. 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 I'm out of things to talk about. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second the motion. <laughs> All in favor of adjournment at 710. Please say aye. 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 And we're done.